and the dancer from Group A headed home tonight. Cricket. Oh. Ashton Kutcher. Michael Phelps. All right. Me, Ryan Lochte. I'm going. sticking with Ryan Lochte. Yeah. I think you're Brian McKnight. The cricket was revealed as an R&B legend that no one expected on The Masked Dancer. But in this week's episode, me and Kyle discuss our favorite performances, the judge that's on fire, and Kyle exposes one of the best dancers on the show. Yes, you guys, the sloth. Hi, I'm Mel. And I'm Kyle. And welcome to the Talent Recap Show, right, you guys? It was another great week on The Masked Dancer. Getting it down pack. I'm really loving it right now. <laughs> but, uh, Kyle, there was another character that was revealed in this week's episode. You take it away. Yeah, the cricket was revealed, and it was Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight. This is so major, Kyle. I mean, I think everyone expects Brian McKnight to be on The Masked Singer, not The Masked Dancer. And look at what just happened. Yeah, and, you know, he addressed that on the show even. He was like, you know, if I was on Masked Singer, everyone would recognize my voice right away. So this was a way for me to be, like, actually disguised and have people trying to figure out who I, who I am. And he did a great job. I mean, a lot of people thought the cricket was an actor or a comedian because of how in character he was. And, you know, I think Brian McKnight just pulled a fast one on all of us. Definitely. I mean, it's one of those things. Obviously, he's right. If I heard his voice, I would be like, that is so Brian McKnight. His voice is very distinct. <laughs> but it's also good to see him, see him having fun, see the side of him that we really don't get to see. And I'm just going to say he also should just stick to singing. I can see why he's more of the singer and not the dancer. But Brian McKnight, it was yeah. so good to see him loose and vulnerable on the stage. This was an amazing reveal. Yeah, and Paula Abdul actually guessed that it was Brian McKnight. Listen, Paula Abdul is on fire. She is clearly the best judge that's been on the mass series, I should say, because she is not playing. Mm -hmm. She is guessing these people. She is putting two and two together. I mean, she's 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 very serious about her judge position. <laughs> yeah, and she even predicted who we guessed for Exotic Bird last week. Jordan so Sparks. that's pretty telling too. But you know what, Kyle, I think it's time to get into our favorite performances of the week. Every week, me and Kyle choose a favorite performance that stuck out to us. And Kyle, who was your favorite performance? My favorite performance was from The Hammerhead Dancing to Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Yeah, this performance was just so much fun. I mean, Hammerhead brings all the energy. And, you know, I loved, like, the TikTok dance that he was doing. And he really just, like, again, brought it on the stage. I think overall... Group B is probably the stronger dancing group, uh, but Group A definitely still has a lot of fun on stage. Absolutely. I think we can all agree <laughs> with that. But you know what? Let me get into my favorite performance of the week. It is from none other than Tulip dancing to Fields of Gold. How emotional was this performance, though? I know this was a great performance. And, you know, what I just said about group A definitely does not apply to Tulip. I think she's one of the strongest dancers in this competition. I think she's in it to win it. And yeah, I mean, this cover of Fields of Gold, just from the beginning, it was emotional. And so seeing her dance uh, and just how expressive she is in her dance, like she's definitely not someone who's new to it. And she's a really strong dancer. Yes, I have to agree with you. She is not new to the stage. She did not come to play. She said, I'm going to the mass Dancer to win. But um, <laughs> let's go on to the next segment, which is everyone's favorite segment. Kyle, our mass Dancer detective, is going to expose one of the characters underneath the mask. Kyle, let us know who you're going to expose on this week's episode. All right, this week we are exposing the sloth. The sloth, okay, this is one of the funniest costumes to me because the sloth does not move like a sloth. So I need to find out who is the sloth, Kyle? The sloth is, drum roll, Maxine Tmerkovsky from Dancing with the Stars. One, I have to give you props for saying his name, last name properly because <laughs> couldn't be me. Second of all, how is it him? You have to give us the T, give us how you came across this conclusion. 
Yeah, so uh, to be honest, I spelled out his name here like phonetically so I could try to get it. I apologize if that's still wrong, but let's go through the clues for who I will refer to now as Max because he goes by yeah. Max. <laughs> so first of all, in the word up clues, we've heard that he's had that he has an accent and Max is from Ukraine, which explains that accent. Broadway. Uh, he also talked about having an accident as a kid, was and a Max kid, was in a skiing a accident at 13, accident. where they thought he wouldn't be able to dance again. He obviously overcame that now, being a professional dancer. Um, we saw a like blue liquid being poured into a yellow liquid, and so the blue was on top and the yellow was on the bottom, which represents the Ukraine flag, that is like blue on the top half and yellow on the bottom half. Uh, we've also seen a ton of Dancing with the Stars clue. Uh, on the tube of toothpaste, there were like words on the side of it that spelled out D-W-T-S. Uh, we also saw, you know, in a mirror, the, all the, the women were like playing with sports balls, which represents the mirror ball trophy. Uh, so a lot of Dancing with the Stars clues. Uh, the Glee clues that we saw as well um, all point to one of his partners from Dancing with the Stars, Heather Morris, who was on Glee. Uh, and then there are more clues pointing to some of his partners too. Uh, we saw a solo cup at one point with a 13 on it and Hope Solo was his partner on season 13 of Dancing with the Stars. So again, that's one of those oddly specific clues that can only apply to Max. Uh, we also saw you know, a DR and some doctors with DR on their uh, white coats, which could point to one of his dance partners, Denise Richards, or the fact that he appeared on a few episodes of General Hospital. Uh, he also mentioned being part uh, on Broadway and we saw a clue at the end of the first clue package where there was fire at the bottom of the screen and he was on Broadway in a production called Burn the Floor. So that explains that as well. Uh, he talks about moving somewhere with a new language and Max moved from the Ukraine to New York when he was a kid. So that makes sense. He also talks about having a bad boy rep, which was definitely the rep that he had on Dancing with the Stars, kind of being the bad boy of the show. Um, we also saw a clue that said Maximum Velocity, which is a nod to his name, Max, and the, velo the first few letters of Velocity also nod to his brother's name, Val. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw an I Heart You card, and he's married uh, to PETA from Dancing with the Stars, so I think, you know, that kind of love connection there. Uh, we also saw a clapper board that had an 18 on it, and he quit Dancing with the Stars in 2018. And finally, we saw a clue on Instagram around Christmas that was saying that he was a fan of the Nutcracker, and his wife walked down the aisle to the Nutcracker suite. So that all checks out, and all of that points to Max being the sloth. Kyle, there is no way he can't be, he's, he can't not be the sloth. He is definitely the slot with the rundown of the clues that you just gave us. God, you are so good at this. You are so good at this. Let us know in the comments <laughs> below. Do you agree with Kyle? I definitely do. If you don't agree with Kyle, I don't know why you wouldn't, but let us know in the comments below and, you know, let us, I, I, I be wrong, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> But speaking of comments, it's time for us to get into our comment of the week. Every week we choose one of your comments from a previous video and shout you guys out. Love and or hate because we love you guys. And this week's comment comes from Prince Creighton who says, can you unmask cotton candy or I'm not going to watch this no more. Wow, we are, first of all, Prince. We need you to watch, we need you to watch, okay? We wanna continue exposing celebrities and you have to actually watch for us to do that, right guys? Yeah, actually we only have two more to reveal and that's just Cotton Candy and Tulip, which we've gotten a lot of comments asking for those. But next week we'll have the Super Six, so all six remaining contestants will be together and we will reveal one of those too, so stay tuned. Yes, yeah, stay tuned. Like, like Kyle said, it's gonna happen. We'll see when. But anyways, Kyle, I think it's time for us to wrap up today's show. Let everybody know where they can find you on socials. Yeah, it's Kmon Pleasure on Instagram and Twitter. And then you could find me at double underscore M-E-L-B-A-E. But more importantly, make sure you're following Talent Recap on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You're on YouTube right now, so just click the subscribe button at Talent Recap on all platforms. And I think it's time for us to say that's our talent recap. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk. <laughs>